Tonight, some people are being allowed back into their homes following a big explosion at their Dunwoody apartment complex. The family of a 77 year old man tells us that he was one of four people hurt. He was badly burned, burned while trying to escape. He had to crawl out of his apartment. He's still in the hospital with burns over 40% of his body. We have team coverage for you tonight as the investigation continues into what triggered the blast. We go first to Tracy Amick Pier, who talked to residents who came back to the complex today. I was just looking at it right now and the stairwell that's made of brick and steel is hanging over on the side. One day after an explosion blasted through the arrived perimeter apartments, residents like Dr. Tamika Richardson came back to grab some belongings. Right now we had to move back because it's floating and it might collapse. They just the fire marshal just told us that we had to move. Richardson saying the whole experience has been traumatic. There was a lady who, I guess the where the blast happened, she was in shock apparently and was sitting on the bed, but the guy in the, the other apartment, they said he, he the, the blast put a hole in his wall and he had to go through the through the wall to get her. There was a, a people jumping over the balcony. There were people crawling out of windows and putting people on their backs. Sharing that others who smelled gas tried to leave, only making it to the parking lot and then it exploded on top of the car. Her car is still roped off right now. So it exploded on top of her car and they were trapped inside the car. And one of them, the gentleman, he had to pull her out. DeKalb Fire and Rescue shared this drone footage of the aftermath as they searched apartment by apartment for victims yesterday, telling 11 Alive somehow there were only four people hurt. Imagine that there are no fatalities, it's just unbelievable. At least 25 units were damaged in the blast and structural engineers will be out here on site all day assessing other units, hopefully to eventually give the green light that they are safe for these residents to return. All right, Tracy, thank you. Yeah, that damage is so substantial. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter continuing our team coverage with the latest on the investigation, what started that explosion. So, Brittany, really important note here that when we talk to people who live in the complex, they said they had been smelling natural gas even before that explosion. That is correct. They actually said they didn't start smelling it yesterday, but days prior and they tried to sell tell apartment officials about it and warn them and they said nothing happened. I heard a big boom boom and shook my apartment and things started falling off uh, the wall and in my laundry room. Sharon Ragsdale says she's been complaining about the odor for weeks to the arrived perimeter apartment management and yesterday found out she wasn't alone. You can smell it like coming like uh, sometimes when coming walking down uh, our uh, hallway, the hallway that I'm on and uh, you can just, you know, smell it permeating throughout the hallway. She feels frustrated as she works to salvage her belongings and get back into her home, saying perhaps this could have all been averted. Because it's kind of scary now, you know, being there and uh, how things have been just kind of like unstable um, with, with the gas. Atlanta Gaslight says it received a call on Sunday afternoon about the smell and a crew was on the way to the apartments when the explosion happened. The company says as of now, it has not identified any other prior complaints. DeKalb Fire telling us when they arrived on scene, there was a strong smell of gas in the area. Officials confirming they received a call from the leasing manager about the smell of gas prior to the blast. I reached out to the complex about these claims and they said a manager would get back with me, but they hadn't as of late this afternoon. First responders continue to come in and out of the units Monday, at one point rescuing a resident's cat who was in a damaged apartment. We're told the building that sustained the most extensive damage is three stories tall with at least 25 units. Authorities tell us the cause of the explosion is still under investigation. Authorities tell me they received dozens of 911 phone calls from management residents all when that explosion happened. We have requested those phone calls. We are still waiting to get them back, back oh, to you guys. Gosh, I'm sure they depict some really terrifying moments. Again, four people hurt, no one killed in that explosion. Brittany Klein, Peter reporting.